What's up, and welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. This is Matt, and today we're working a problem from the construction breath section of the Civil PE exam. The question asks, what is the prismoidal volume of two areas are 62 square feet and 25 square feet respectively, and the mean area is 88 square feet, assume 200 foot sections. So to solve this problem, we're gonna turn in the PE reference handbook and we're going to look specifically at section 2.1.2.1. And in the problem statement, we're asked to solve for the prismoidal volume. So to do that, we're going to use in the section 2.1.2.1 the formula that's given for the prismoidal formula. That makes sense so far, right? And that prismoidal formula is equal to volume is equal to L length times open brackets A1, which is area 1, plus 4 AM, which is the mean area, plus A2, which is area 2, all divided by 6 and close bracket. So we're going to look at the problem statement and see what variables we have and what we're solving for. So we already said we're being asked to solve for the prismoidal volume. So that is V equal to L. Length is, well, we said in the problem statement, we're given 200 foot stations. So write 200 feet, open bracket, A1, area 1, they said in the problem statement, that's 62 square feet, plus 4 times the mean area, which is given to us as 88 square feet. Oh, it's right there, 88 square feet. Let's clean that up a little bit. That would keep us on track. 88 square feet, right? Plus area 2, which is given as 25 square feet. Divide all of that by 6 in the denominator and close the bracket. So working that out, we get a volume that's equal to 14,633.333, repeating decimal, cubic feet. But we got to be careful because answer choice D looks exactly like our answer that we just solved for. But that's not the final answer because if we look at the answer choices, they're all in cubic yards and our answer is in cubic feet. So what we need to do, we'll call what we just did step one. And in step two, what we need to do is convert our cubic feet to cubic yards. It's something that's very simple to do, but it's very dangerous, we'll say, because if we're not careful with our units, it would lead us to the exact wrong answer choice, and we don't want that. So we're going to look back in the PE reference handbook in section 1.2 of the reference handbook. I really like section 1.2 that has our unit conversion factors, and that is just so important for so many of these problems on the civil PE exam. So I highly encourage you to use that when in doubt with unit conversion factors or just to double check yourself. So we'll take the volume we found above is 14,633.333 cubic feet. And we know that one yard is equal to three feet. That's our conversion factor that we got from section 1.2. But we need to cube that quantity because it's dealing with cubic feet. So we do that and we arrive at an answer equal to 541.975 cubic yards. And looking at our answer choices, we see that that is closest to answer choice B, and we've solved this problem. So if you're looking for more practice and review as you prepare for your civil PE exam, I'd highly encourage you to head on over to civilengineeringacademy.com and check out our ultimate civil PE breadth and depth review courses for more practice. We'll see you there.